Alright, good day and welcome. Learning exercise 11.4.4 in this unit. We're solving probability from Venn diagram. So I've used the same previous problem for unit 4.3. And there's the Venn diagram given. Alright. So hockey, netball, touch rugby. Alright. All the items we find. So find the problem, the probability that learner selected at random plays none of the sports. So we don't play hockey, don't play netball, don't play tennis. It's at 60. Alright. So probability with the right not hockey and not netball and not touch rugby equals 6 out of 33. Remember, we have 33 learners, so our sample space is 33. Probability that the learner plays hockey. So we want probability plays hockey. We want everything in the circle H. So it's 8 plus 5 plus 2 plus 3. So the 8 plus 5 plus 2 plus 3, which gives me 18 over 33. And a fraction must always be written in its simplest form. And C, we want the probability that the learner plays hockey and touch rugby. So hockey and touch rugby. So we look there. If we look at the circle T and we look at H, they intersect here by overlap at 5 and 2. So probability hockey and touch rugby is 5 plus 2. So they 5 plus 2 over 33, which gives me 7 over 33. Plays netball and touch rugby. So now I'm looking at netball and touch rugby. So you can see they overlap there at 2 and 4. Netball and touch rugby. So 4 plus 2, which gives me 6 over 33. Right, so those are your easier problems. Now I'm moving over to a more complicated. Plays hockey or netball. Right, so if I want hockey or netball, I'm literally looking at the two circles for hockey and netball. So I add everything in H and N. You see there, I remove T. So that one from T is removed from there. So effectively, it's 8 plus 5 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 4, which gives me 26 over 33. So I simply added all those values. Right? Plays netball or touch rugby, so now I'm concerned with the circle N and T. So the order is addition rule, so I'm adding everything in N and everything in T. So then netball or the touch rugby, 1 plus 5 plus 2 plus 4 plus 4 plus 3, 19 over 33. Alright? Alright, if we say plays netball or touch rugby using the addition rule probability n plus probability t minus probability n and t so probability n you can see it's 10 13 13 over 33 probability t is 6 8 12 that's 12 over 33 and n and t is 4 plus 2 which equals 6 over 33 which equals 19 over 33 so either way, we still get the same answer. Alright? So hope you follow. Hope you understand. Alright? go to something a little bit more complicated. Does not play hockey. So then I remove everything from H. And I'm left with netball, T, and the 6 that also don't play hockey. So that is 1 plus 4 plus 4 plus 6. So not hockey. Gives me 15 over 3. Does not play touch rugby, so I remove everything from T and I'm left with 8 plus 3 plus 4 plus 6, which gives me 21 over 33, which is 7 over 11. Right, plays hockey but not netball, so probability H and not N. So there's a probability they play hockey and I remove everything from N and I assume you can see I remove T. So plays hockey but not netball, 8 plus 5 over 33, which gives me 13 over 3, 33. Plays netball but not touch rugby. So I remove everything from touch, I remove hockey as well. Looking at netball, so that's 4 plus 3, which gives me 7 over 33. Right? And then last but not least, we can say play both not a sport. So plays neither touch rugby nor hockey. So you see I'm removing everything from T and everything from H. That gives me 4 plus 
6 over 33 which is 10 over 33 or plays neither netball nor hockey so I remove everything from hockey and netball and I'm left with 1 plus 6 which gives me 7 over 33 hope you follow hope you understand so that's everything I can ask you under Venn diagrams all right all the best God bless bye